I just wanna keep it positive. I just wanna say art I love you know. And I'm here today, you know. I'm a very strong girl, you know. No one has to tell me that I'm strong. I believe in myself and I know that I am strong because when I look at where I'm coming from. Right now you're gonna be unstoppable. Unstoppable, that means I can't stop you. As the journey for justice continues, the Rasta community gathered at Mandela Park to host a peaceful protest for the injustice carried out against one of their young princesses, Enzinga King. A lot of Rastafarians was there. The turnout was a good one. Chronics was there. A lot of respectable elders was there. Viewers, we have the footage for now. But before I play it, let me give credit to Big Stone TV for this clip right here. If you're not following Big Stone TV yet, go over there on YouTube and subscribe to Big Stone TV. Big Stone, big up yourself. Only you can find the link to Big Stone's channel right down in the description. See it? Go over there, check out him channel, subscribe, make him know Unstoppable TV, send him know over there. See it? Come we go check out the clip. But the truth is this. If my daughter is in my house, who can touch her? If my daughter is at home with I and I. So when Bob Marley asks, who's going to stay at home when the freedom fighters are fighting? It's a serious question. Serious, serious question. That thing. So we can they and say, oh, we want this and we want that. We want to leave them at home with Rasta, eat Rasta food, read Rasta book. You know how much Rasta book? Honorable Chakula give I and I and I life. You see me as my father. Hundreds of books. Yeah, I'm not going to university. We're never going to university or none of them things. See, but then invite you at universities all over the world. We talk about things we read from you where you learn from your father. See? So, we see, say, the teachings of a father and the teachings of a mother is unmatched. The love where a father has been daughter is much. The love where a mother has been a son. Where we son them there as a Leela Ike said, Where is your son? Where is he? Who knows which part of son them there right now? I can say, My son is there and he's safe. See? So, the truth is, what we really for much for is more of a march back within as Rasta people. We need for a retreat. We need to heal with God, heal with self, so a guy can come tell me about health and oh, this is what you must do to be healthy and make sure you take this three times. And it's Rasta man place that the next guy are taking. And I'm gonna tell you, oh, when you plant the herb, make sure you do this. And um, it's like Rasta man step aside and make a next person I tell me how to take with our sovereignty where we feel living up. Because if you live sovereign in them, you're sovereign in them. No guy now have to come sign a paper or nothing. If you have your water and your food and you have your children at your in your under your jurisdiction, under your protection and your care, then you get me? No first of all, how are you them not for mix up? Them not for mix. That are the first thing. We have to retreat and go heal ourselves to ourselves. At least for 50 years before we can say, yo, we have come help society. Look at we, we can't help nobody. You know? We can't even free Africa again like this. You know? Forget about go down Africa or go up to Africa, go free. You know? Africa, big Africa, Honorable, Honorable Kerida McDonald, Honorable Empress Kerida McDonald, has lived in Ethiopia and worked here. All uh, enough of Rasta, um, Honorable Miguel Lan, live and work in Africa. And we can tell us that Africa is big, vast. So if we can have, if we can have all the Rasta men and women them in our country, right, as a today, under one cause, not two, nor three, nor four, one cause, then we need to retreat. And if I was the leader of an army, I would tell my army, say, look up there, let's go up there and rally back on them stronger. One next time. I could take the, the generation here. We have a new generation in them. I could take them by force. And anything where they need in life, make them get it from we. You know what I heard? 
get herb from we. A dispensary, why you them are gonna get herb? Yes. And there they must know that. Oh, yes, this pench where you them go get her and is immaculate where you them go. See, Catholic, the heights of Catholic indoctrination will willfully put you them in that every day, every single day that God sent. And we make them eat taste his party, we make certain things where they shouldn't get get to them and them shouldn't drop when 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 christ come in our earth job sent to him mother and him father and said don't make certain things come near him protect him because once it come near him you lose it's like you lose you get me yeah you can't make certain things come near him. i'm a nervous system i'm telling you this you see your locks it will never stop growing. All when life come out of your physical body, your locks will never ever stop growing. It will never ever 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 stop growing. All the people, them, all the people, them, when you see with sharp ear, I them have to stop them ear from growing. Because if you not stop ear from growing, it never stop. As long as you're healthy. See? So, that are my connection with my covenant. It can't cut. Because the physical body take on the identity of the invisible body. And my invisible body is a raster. So even when me dead and born back. Even when we tread and forward. We have to take on back the identity again. Some of the done in India you know, with long locks. Some of the done in Egypt and came with long locks. You know. So when we forward, we just forward the same way again. See? So known the history and know the history of humanity yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing a man say fire burn Rome so make we stop go Roman school now yeah. who said make we stop go Roman school brother yeah. immaculate a Roman school I went to St. Catherine High School the same school where the honorable prime minister go it's a catholic school and all them teachers for do them school there is debate oppose each other be prefect you know, and report the next student when the student, you know, and you have the bad students and the good students and the all girls over here and then all the boys over here and it's just a non-stop segregational consciousness a divide and rule thing where we come play out back against each other when police, we know no white police down here like the American them for blame, you know we don't have no white police to blame it. A poor and rich people children don't go in the police force. Me say, society don't go in the police force. The original, the original Jamaican high class people them don't they don't deal with becoming no police. Is people like ionize the police. See? When the commissioner is sick, his rasta must take care of him. When the prime minister has worm and diabetes because they have it, they can see upon them like they can tell say, them, them. You get it? We did have one as the minister of agriculture and from your look upon him, you know, say, it's not right. It's not healthy. How come? How come? Yeah, yeah. We know some ones in a Jamaica like all um, Honorable Harris and them one day. We, we have all some Honorable up here, so, who them and they are expert in a health. See, and we have some other guy we have worm, my lord. I tell you, sir. Some guy we have worm and belly problem and them thing there. I tell you, certain thing and it's not right. You see me? So, we claim back with thing by claim forward our life by liberty. Not true saying that we need this right but taking the right you see me by taking up that right which means don't come near my children or we have to declare war against your state if you come near one of my children, me alone i don't need the whole rest of the world me alone i'm going to declare war against your state yeah but with budget with planning with start with strategy with statistics through legal through the media through visual and recording sonic art declare war against your state because we have the power to do that so don't when you see my daughter personally if you can go over this up and know say 
I don't know if we can explain it. I so want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when people say the Rasta data coming, it's like that in Jamaica, you know. Monks are certain kind of the people, you know. Where when them see a Rasta that don't, when them see a Rasta data, them show you a different eyes. You know, and we know them Jamaican, they are love on them. I'm telling you, you are part of the Rasta family. You are part of the family of His Majesty. You are royal people. You see me? Yeah. All over the world. When them see all around. One time I land in England and a bridging. Take me out of the long line, man. And just me go through. Him say, you know, I'm searching now. You see me? And him, him have on him, 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 him um, border. Security closing, customs closed, but he had dreadlocks in England and and priests and everything. It's not just dreadlocks, but he have everything, everything. And when he put with you, he say, yo, let me tell you this. He had do an interview one day, and the interview said, recommend one book where you think the youth them for read. And him, him go like this and dip in him thing and come up with the wise mind. And him said, you didn't tell the man in the book. Him said, him said, him said, him said, him said, him said, you tell the man in the interview, he said, if there's one book we can suggest to a youth, is this book. And him said, from him buy the book, me not cut my ear again, me not, and me not lose no job nor nothing. Because I'm a deal with it, the emperor style. In a Jamaica, hold on a man, in a Jamaica man, let me tell you, and a war time is in a, and a time for beat them something like that. Trust me man, and a war time yet, them something that will mash down the place, you know. Yeah man, take time with them things, yeah, them things that will mash down the place are necessary, man, I tell you. Them things are not normal things, them, yeah? So, me I say, all the stuff where they are, so, take time with that time, because the people are building the over the sun, isn't it? I say, I say, I say, I say, who is Rastafari? Rastafari is not your dreadlocks. I'm so sorry, but it's true. It is not your dreadlocks, and it is not your, 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 your eat is not that enough. It is his, his imperial. Majesty, Emperor, Ayala Selassie, the first. Now that's how we get the whole thing about Rastafari from. Which is, what is the goal of Rastafari? Why should we carry on the Emperor thing? Because we can lift off the Emperor you know, and just become like, enough things that we can say we is enough, you know, other than for say the Emperor name. You know? You know? So, 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 we can't burn room. Well, I know we can't say we burn room and we burn church if I never we, if we don't have our own Rastafari church, our own Rastafari tabernacle, we span 140 foot. We build from our money, and where we have. You see me? So, at the end of the day, I say, I'm my king, I defend now. I'm my empress now. That's all in So all who now defend his majesty and empress many night. Me can't relate to that. It's impossible. It's impossible that me can't just take that from now. If I something other than where his majesty and empress men in a Marcus Giavi say. I am going through the gate. I don't know what you're talking about. You confuse me. His Majesty, I deal with. When was the last time the world of peace? When was the last time the whole entire world of peace? Not even a great grandmother can tell you that. Come, come, for, come forward, come, come forward, come say, come forward. He said, come forward, come speak your mind. Forward. May I say, when, when was the last time humanity, when was the last time African people get related to by the global world as equal human beings? Right now, them have them G20, 
And the 140 billion people in Africa is not represented in the world. When the world come together and discuss what they're going to do, there's nobody in the room representing I and I in a bunch. And His Majesty is a living example of that. Of someone who have kick down the door and stand up in the room and say, Okay, Africa is here. What were you saying again? You know? What you need to discuss? What do you say about? What do you say about? What do you say about vaccine and anything there? We are not supposed to discuss vaccine without a raster man in the room. For say we him know about the thing. We our scientists them there in the big room when they talk about where them are. So some scientists not there Africa. Rasta now a scientist. Oh no, I'm not. See me? So. We are said to the people them say, the I them living on a sovereign self. The I them living on them divine self. Come here telling you this. Shut your mouth and listen. I love every time. I love every time. Come here, my say now. The power is now. The power is man. You know what I mean? We give thanks, man. No, we not sing no tune. We not sing no tune and, and none of that now go go on. We just say to ones and ones say, members say now is the time of judgment. Are we, and are we are the main judge. I, I and I, we not have nobody to look to and say, oh, are we call the judgment day. Judgment day will not come till I and I say, today is judgment day. Rasta for I I and I, we love, 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 we we want to hear this now. So now, you see as a, you see as a youth now within the liberty and thing. I and I represent some of the youth that will get pushed out of Rasta and get cast out as non-Rasta because they are not perfect. When they never have no Rasta church to say, yo, make we go out of church here. Yeah. In my community or which part they forward from. You know what I mean? We have 12 tribes. I you know, have brethren who get run out of 12 tribes. Me, I and I have young brethren, we young enough. You, know? you see me? That is like a father said to him, son said. You remember when you just start locks and your father said, come out? I like something like that now, you are do as a rasta. I play up at the same treatment where you get from your father. When you look on a rasta sister and say, oh, you have on pants, come out. Or, oh, you this, come out. Let me tell you this. We have one generation, you know, who not run them out and go make nothing happen to them. If them forward, take them. Love them like how you love your children. Care for them like how you care for your children. See? Stop. Chaos out on the people and tell them say them is not Rasta. I know enough musicians down here where man I say, oh, them sing Rastafari and make money. Let me tell you this. If you want to make money, you don't sing about Rastafari. In music industry. I mean, no, one, no men come tell me about the music industry. No. If me being independent, I've never signed my music to a major record company in my entire trad as an artist. And so everything we do, we did have to do that as one. And chatting through the music industry, I can tell you, say, if you want to make money, don't mention nothing about his majesty. Yeah. And when you know want to make money, and when you want to deal with something else, you see when you hear a youth say his majesty, and you, and, and, and you look on the youth and tell the youth, oh, he might use his majesty, you talk nonsense. You're talking utter rubbish. You talk utter rubbish. Because Rasta no have no Rasta record label if you sign no youth and give them the money. I'll be a Babylon company in a music. If you don't make your money from Pepsi, and if you don't make your money from Digicel, and if you don't make your money from 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 from, from all of them places, you know. Girl, I tell you, I'm going to put all that in right on the right way for the boy. Start with the 
Right now you know we ain't stopping. Unstoppable, that means them can't stop you. You unstoppable, so now we are trained. Brothers and sisters, um, the cleansing that come forward. Now, some of you may have heard her on my radio program on Wednesday night. And she gave a beautiful history of the incident that happened. So you all can look up on YouTube and you will hear it when she, I spoke to her on the phone on Wednesday night. Don't be perturbed by what comes out in the star or what is circulating about people saying that and that. What you do, and in anything, you analyze, mm -hmm. you dissect, you distill. If I and I make that accusation against the police force, mm -hmm. the police woman is part of the force. Right. And if we make that allegation against the force, and not once so far that the police have issued a statement right. denying our allegation, what does that say to us? Yeah. In brothers and sisters, yeah. if we have been saying that publicly in the newspaper, on the television, and on the radio, and not once has the police high command issued one statement in defense of their police woman, what does that say to us? Yeah. So don't be disguised by those little propaganda that they are coming with. No. Brothers and sisters, even before we reach the cutting of the locks, mm -hmm. let us analyze it. Mm -hmm. She was in a taxi. Mm -hmm. A policeman came and sprayed a man in the taxi and sprayed in the taxi. Down to a mother with a baby was in the taxi hmm. when the policeman let off this pepper spray. Shameful. And brothers and sisters, we are doing the research because we're going to find that policeman mm -hmm. and make him understand the language that we speak. We're going to let him understand because that's where it's starting. You don't go and look at a taxi and spray pepper spray in it with women and children at the back, women and baby at the back, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Do we understand, brothers and sisters, yes. that when you joining this trouble now that it ain't gonna be just some little one incident let us go further the sister was taken to court mm -hmm. she was told that she was being charged for breach of covid rules when she nearly took off having been sprayed she, she come breathe. out to the taxi protesting and took off the mask so they said they're going to charge her for breach of COVID rules. Mm -hmm. But when she came to court, they charged her for disorderly Disorder conduct. conduct. Mix up. Again, analyze it, brothers and sisters. No, no, These are no, common no. things that they no, no, use no. against us black people for years. No, no. Things like breach of vagrancy, vagrancy law. Things like suspected person. Things like cost bad word. So disorderly conduct is one of the general things that they come with when they have nothing. So she wasn't told that that was supposed to be her child, but when she was brought to court for that, she pleaded not guilty. Mm -hmm. The policeman who took her from the taxi and is supposed to be the one who charged her did not come to court hmm. yet the judge listening to another police who wasn't there and that police did not give evidence on oath the judge find her guilty injustice injustice that Nonsense. no brothers and sisters you plead not guilty there was no trial 
and the judge find you guilty. Many of I and I have experienced that in the courthouse. Isn't that so, brothers and sisters? Haven't we seen these things happen over and over? Because is there nobody? Is not the dirty head raster? So they do these things to us regularly. So, brothers and sisters, we already know the name of that judge. And we are going to make sure that he don't try another roster. <laughs> Do you realize the new language we speak, brothers and sisters? Because we ain't gonna just pause around the little corner part of it. This is a totality. In other words, when we use the word systematic racism, mm -hmm institutionalized discrimination. That's what we mean. From the police at the taxi, from being brought. And one thing we are going to make sure that judge, that judge is going to declare that when this sister was brought before him, she had her locks. These are issues that we are going He cannot deny that. No. Here she's $6,000 are 10 days. Mm -hmm. She stayed in custody five days. Normally, if you are charged 10 months or $10,000 and you stay in custody for five months, you don't pay the full, full amount, amount at the end of it. Hmm. You pay proportionate to the amount of time you have already spent. Robbery! So if she stayed in custody five days out of ten, how much should she be paying? Three thousand. I don't hear her, no? Three thousand. And we can ask her mother who is here, how much did the mother pay? How much did the mother pay? Six thousand. Six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. So even before we start, the government owe us three thousand dollars i don't know if you see the sequence of injustice brothers and sisters and we don't we don't reach we don't reach the trimming of the locks yet you know i don't reach that part yet you know i want you to see brothers and sisters when we say babylon when we say that we are going to now fight against this whole system you must put all of them together when the sister went to the to take to the police station at Four Path, remember now she's coming from the Maypen Courthouse. Mm -hmm. At Maypen, you are taken to a holding area where they have everybody, man, woman, and big man. From there now, they are taking you now to Four Path because they declare they deem that area the female holding area or the female prison, as it were. She stayed in here. She is then subject to cruel and inhuman treatment because they ask her to pull down her underwear to unfold her Brazil. Remember, she's coming from court, you know. So if she had any weapon when she reached here, she never would have it at court. You cannot go to court with no weapon. But, like somebody said, many of them get their kicks from this type of behavior. Because there is no law that permits you to undress a sister upon entering the police station. There's no law that allows that. So again, we see the level of violation, brothers and sisters. So when they put out things, whether on social media or in the star or so, again, you analyze it. I don't reach locks yet, you know. I don't reach locks yet to make you realize what the sister went through even before. In other words, the locks then now becomes the culmination of the violations. It becomes the climax. Right. Because she had been subject to so much building up to that stage. Mm -hmm. So much injustice. So brothers and sisters, now, when they took her to the cells, 
And in these cells, there are no beds, there are no bunks. You sleep on the cold concrete. That's what they do to our sisters. If you're lucky to get a newspaper, you make that your bed. And sometimes you use piece of your clothing to lay down that you do contract coal from the concrete. That was where they put the system. <sighs> now we all know, both man and woman, that when you go through all this stress, all this trauma and drama, your period comes down on you. Because all of this now is like the body is giving up now to say, Lord have mercy. What is going to put with so much you? Duress from the so body. the sister period came down on her. She asked for assistance at the station. They told her, no, we don't provide nothing like that. How? Oh. oh. Foolish. So the sister had to bear those conditions until her mother could arrive a few days later Jesus. with sanitary conveniences. I'm saying all of this that our people, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, realize what goes on in Jamaica and realize the extent that many are feeling. Because maybe if they hadn't cut her locks, we wouldn't be hearing and discussing all of this now. Because people take these things for granted and then go back to their home and resume their living. True. So, having now reached the climax and to do what they have done, and like I said, the police high command and so on have not made any statement whether out of respect whether out of apology etc and we take this to judge them even more so brothers and sisters for them are the investigations the father has chosen little queen and zinda to lead us now into a situation where we are going to make it clear one way or the other, brothers and sisters. As you all know, I have no faith in the court system. Because we took a case to court way back in 1983 and the court ruled that Kirk Johnson could go to school with his dreadlocks in 1983. Yet in 2020, we are going over the same, same thing, thing. the same blasted court, brothers and sisters. So when we are going to call upon all to demonstrate and to agitate and, and whatever is necessary, please be prepared because we are taking these matters to court already. I tell you, we have written to almost every minister of education since the 1980. We have written to all of them. And we have had ministers of education who in instances sent the chief education officer to schools. We had a chief education officer that was sent to St. George's College. And when the, the chief education officer said to the principal, if you don't allow this boy to continue schooling, the ministry is going to cut off it's subvention to the school. The ministry is no longer going to give St. George's College one single cent. And that was when the principal of St. George's College relinquished his position. But why do we have to keep going it over? The next step shouldn't be that we ask the ministry not to give public money to any school, we don't want, we shouldn't go over that. Right. It should be a change, a, a situation now where the ministry charge that principal for a breach of a criminal act. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if he's not charged under some law, he or she 
and brought before a court, it will continue. You got to do something yeah. no. diabolically yeah. no. to cool the situation. No. This is not a case where we are going to accept apology mm. and we're going to accept. We will certainly accept damages, money. But like my brother Chakula has written, it has to be a minimum, a minimum of $100 Say it again, my brother. $100 Say it again for all of us. $100 yes. $100 million. And brothers and sisters, hold on now. There is a thing in law known as exemplary damages exemplary damages mean you are going to set an example and what what better case you have to set an example than this case now and my sister behind me here mentioned another area of law say it again my sister come against the mic and say punitive damages punitive damages that means you are going to punish whoever carry out the act mm -hmm. and to make sure that they do not do it again. Yep, 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 so yep, brothers yep. and sisters, since I've been here, I want us to put the whole thing in context. Mm -hmm. It isn't just a situation of a constable or a corporal, Mitchell, do that act. It is a systematic, engineered, that has been going on in Jamaica. I have here a copy of a letter, but I won't bore you to read it. That was written by Buster Monty in 1939 to the colonial secretary, pointing out the threat of Leonard Howell and Rastafari. Buster Monty, 1939, was setting up those situations. So what he did in 1963 was merely a follow-up on his behavior from 1930s against Brother Leonard Howell and the brothers and sisters. It is continuing, brothers and sisters. So, we want to make sure that all of that legacy of Bustamante, the political system, the laws that were passed against us, the laws that were passed, and because of Jamaica, Dread Act was passed in Dominica, and the behavior in other countries, so we have a duty to Rastafari all over the world to make sure that these things stop once and for all. Since I've been here, since today, the amount of people who come to me and say, Brother Miguel, after today, what next? Mm -hmm. And we want to announce, apart from you signing the petition, on the 17th of August, which is the Honorable Marcus Garvey's birthday, we're going to gather here, and from here, we're going to be marching to the shrine of the Honorable Marcus Garvey. So spread the word from now, brothers and sisters. And that is in continuation of this struggle and this journey. We are going to keep on the road, keep in the parks, keep on the air, keep in the news all over. Because we're going to make sure that they don't think that this is another two-day wonder. So brothers and sisters, give thanks for all those who have come out today. We give thanks that this is part of the solidarity. We call for more and more brothers and sisters to stand with us in the struggle. This is now serious times. And we are letting the authorities know it's automatic that oppression brings resistance. So we must be prepared to resist to the ultimate cause. I thank you all. Blessings and honor. What do we want?
Justice. What do we want? Justice. How are we gonna get it? How are we gonna get it? Solidarity. Get up. Stand up. Stand up for our rights. Have a fight for it. Yeah. Man. Freedom won't come if we sit down and act like dumb. At this time, we may invite a uh, human rights activist and the person of uh, Sister Delia. Sister Delia is here and she has to leave, so we just want to put a nice round of applause for Sister Delia, a human rights activist coming in solidarity for justice. My people, where are you? Are bleaching, 
So let me tell you this, my people. I have a little chant. I want you to beat the drum. I want you to beat the drum. It is called the time has come. The time has come, my people. As Rastafari, you must stand up and take your place. You have turned your news to this country. You have yeah. lifted us up. You have risen us to heights beyond heights. And as El Selassie said before I go into my chant, it was El Selassie who said it, but my mind is on it. Is that until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes, then you got to have war until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all. Without regards to race, then there must be war. Let me tell you something. It's not only race we're talking about. Yeah. When it's said that is with regards to creed, it is regards to where you are from or you are socialized. So that statement is a missile statement. It is so powerful. So what I say to my guys now, the time has come. Come, the time has come when we in not the road, we in alignment with the rock of Congo. The time has come. The devil of a flea, we go up and we need, we never pay no fee. The time has come, we have a ton vigilante, take back the country. Them a kill off, we pick me, them a rip off, we anti, them evil and take up all people panty. Time has come, the time has come, the time has come. Eat nothing wrong, eat nothing wrong. Thank you, my people. Let not this be only today. Rise up and fight for your rights. Thank you. Right now, you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.